What is up, y'all? Rich Homie Carrot back again with another banger video. I want to appreciate all y'all for watching. So, I finally purchased a product that I should have purchased a while ago, like when I first bought my scat pack. Um, but it is a dash cam, and I was figuring back and forth, like, which dash cam to buy. I didn't want to buy a super huge dash cam that would block my view of the windshield, but I didn't want to buy one without features. So, after googling and researching, I finally landed on a dash cam that worked for me. This is the Garmin Dash Cam Mini 2. And I mean, it is a very small dash cam, which I really wanted, um, which you can easily hide away and not, you know, uh, obstruct the view of your windshield. And this packs a lot of features. So let's go ahead and get unboxing and I'll show you how to install it in the charger. I'm not going to do a hardwire install. I'm just going to, you know, tuck the wires in and probably route it to one of the USB ports or one of the cigarette outlets. So yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started so before we start shout out to garmin for sending this to me i appreciate y'all and if y'all haven't already make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and yeah y'all hit the like button let me hear that sound um i heard it makes a sound or does some kind of cool design so do that for me i appreciate y'all and yeah let's go So here's the dash cam itself. It comes in a very small box. I mean, for reference, here's like a little remote for my LED lights and look just how small the form factor is. So a nice small camera. I think this may be the actual size too. So pretty awesome. And then you would need a SD card. Some dash cams would come in with an SD card, but I mean, these aren't too expensive. All you would need it's not too big of an SD card, 32 gigs would work just fine since it just re-records the footage or overwrites the footage. So it just continuously records. So you won't need a big SD card um, unless if you're documenting a lot of your travels, but if it's just for, you know, for any emergencies or anytime you just need a dash cam for like one or two minute footage, this is all you need. This is SanDisk, a very uh, reputable brand. I think this cost me like eight, 10 bucks. So not too bad. But this is what we're here for. So on the top, nothing too much. On the side, it is a uh, it says tiny 1080p camera with 140 angle lens and voice control. So you can actually you know say hey Garmin, record, and it'll start recording. And it says Garmin Dash Cam Mini 2. Same thing on the side, and just a bunch of warranty restriction information here. All right. So you can just open it from any side. I'll just open it from the top. And there's a camera. Like I said, pretty small. Fits in the palm of my hand. And it has the micro USB. Here is the button to uh, save the past, I think 15 or 30 seconds of footage. Nice texturized rubber material here. It says Garmin. Uh, SD card slot here or micro SD card slot here this is to turn on or off audio recording and this is the basically uh, the base and then this is uh, the socket so you can actually remove the camera from the base and then I'll plug it back in I think it just comes with one if I'm not mistaken and there's your camera it, it records in 1080p which I wish it records in 4k but I mean for everyday usage this is just fine box nothing too much and then you have your wire so this is the actual the um, AC port then you have two USBs which is good and I was mistaken it actually comes with another basically um, ball and socket type thing so if you want to put this in multiple cars you know want to have this in your daily driver versus your you know, weekend car, you can just quickly unplug it and put it on. Or if one of this happens to go broke or get loose, then you can do that. 
then you have your basically your power cable so the usb would go in here and you have an angled uh mini usb or micro usb which is good so it doesn't just protrude all the way it actually angles in and i believe this is a longer cable so just in case if you need to you know route it and tuck it anywhere they give you two options a shorter or longer cable i think i may need a longer cable for my application and after that that's about it just instruction manuals warranty boring stuff as far as the instruction manual there you go it tells you how to set up and configure this and how to upload your footage but this is a cloud-based webcam so basically all the footage will be uploaded to the cloud or your sd card so it works both ways so if you want to view the footage you have to take the sd card out and put it in your computer or view it from your phone which i want to do with the uh, garmin app but that's about it set up and configuration how to install it and basically how to set it up on the app so i'm gonna go ahead set up my app go out to the car and install this i'm gonna show you uh, where i put mine let's get into it so make sure you download the Garmin app and you can set up your dash cam here. Just click on the dash cam series button and it'll look for your dash cam. It'll take about a minute and then once it's found, just hold on the save button and you can go ahead and pair it to your phone and it'll take about a minute to connect. I just fast forward the footage here. Then once you, you know, select the accessory, which is the dash cam, then you can go ahead and finally connected then it'll prompt you to sign in or create an account so once you create an account or signed in then you can go ahead and activate your vault and here all your cloud footage that you saved will be saved here and if you have Wi-Fi access it will be easier to access but here's your main user interface and yeah one of the main features that I like to use is of course connecting to the live view and here I can go ahead and just position my camera the way I want it all right, so I'm in the car. I think I found a good place where to put it. I'm gonna put it right here, which is the passenger side, right in front of the mirror, because once you're on the driver's side, you won't be able to see the camera at all. It'll be somewhere around here. And I might move this somewhere because it obstructs my view just a little bit. Um, and I also wanna put my radar detector here, so I'll think about it. But basically, I'm gonna put the dash cam here, route it up here, Let's find a way to route it through this panel go through the seal, route it, ignore this red cable that's for my underglow, find a way down here, around my lights and my uh, underglow, and then route it through here, and here. So I'm gonna decide where, I'm gonna decide which cable I should use most likely the long one hopefully the long one is long enough to reach all over i think it should and then some so yeah let's go ahead and get installed some of the tools you will need is of course a nice clean microfiber cloth and some panel tools just so you can get through the panels lift it a little bit so you can just tuck the wire in and that's about it and of course you need your dash cam to have it in an optional is glass cleaner if your glass is really dirty but my glass is pretty decent a nice wipe with a microfiber cloth should be good. I'm gonna clean this area. I'm just gonna do a test fit, like just like measure out the cable, just make sure it just goes around here. All right, so I ran into our first little dilemma here. The shortest cable is way too short, and a long cable is probably way too long. I kind of wish they made a third option or made this a little shorter. I don't know, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have good amount of room left which i might just keep it bunched up in there somewhere i was hoping that i would be able to finesse the short cable but it's whatever but here is the usb plug um it's pretty you know low key which is good so i can go ahead and you know charge any phone and plus um you know have the camera working and a note to plug it in here you may be able to have the um, parking mode meaning that if there's any vibration it'll start recording you just gotta make this uh, ac plug hot meaning that it's always turned on and you can do that through the fuse box in the back which i can show you 
and that way you can be able to record 24 7 or basically record um, whenever there is you know someone um, basically hits your car or turn it on so I won't need that feature but now that's a useful thing to know about these chargers is you can activate parking mode by making this fuse always hot instead of just hardwiring it um, if you don't want to you know, hardwire anything into your car so let's go ahead i'm gonna mount the dash cam and then we'll start tucking the wires and let's see how i do go ahead and peel this stick it on there all right there it is just press on it for about 30 seconds which i did already like put it upside down and then there you go and you can maneuver this camera any direction you want but i believe here is pretty good so it can view straight down and there's a camera you can barely notice it especially if you're sitting right here with the steering wheel so that's not what i really want and now i'm gonna go ahead and wrap the cable so you see i got the cable plugged in and we're gonna go ahead and try to tuck it all right so i think i might have found a way by working backwards um basically i just started tucking it in here and then there's a big space so i just started tucking the wire i'm just gonna go ahead and tuck it all along here and have plenty enough space so yeah wish me luck there you go all nice and tucked up here it was kind of a hassle i mean you gotta pry pry the headliner back a little bit so you can just put the wire up in there like you can see I don't know if you guys can see, but no wire sticking out, which is good. So now all I gotta do is just tuck it under the, uh, things like the weather stripping here, all the way down here, and just follow this red wire. go that was really easy now it's time to tuck it here and under um, basically the glove box compartment and going to route it over here I still do have a good amount of wire left so it's definitely gonna require some bundling up around here but yeah not too bad so far all right y'all I was able to do it so it's tucked between here, between this uh, crevice, and this lays pretty flush, which is good. I tucked a whole bunch of wires up here, and then basically routed it up here. I just gotta go ahead and do this. And there it is, it is on. I just turned on my car, everything works. And like I said, you hear the noise that it's recording. Just tucked it up here, between here, I think you see a little bit, so I'll try to tuck it in a little bit better. All the way in the weather stripping down here. And then I gotta tuck the wire in a little bit better up here. Um, and then it's all tucked through here. And here it is. So and it's recording, and then you know I can press the button to save, which saves it. And then I can turn press the button on the side which is just records the mic if it's red it's not recording sound and if it's off it's recording sound so not too bad and you can say hey Garmin start recording and there you go so not too bad pretty easy install I would give it a much easier install than even the lights down here and yeah, you don't need to hardwire anything. Simple install, um, just out through out here. And there you go. And I'm gonna show you how you can make this always hot uh, when the car is turned off. So you can be constantly, um, you know, recording or on the parking mode. All right, and one way to keep your dash cam always recording, just go to the fuse box in the trunk here. And all you would have to do my lights are already connected here but basically you move the fuse um your fuse won't look like this it'll just look like i think a yellow one like this you just move from here 
to here. And that's about it. Basically, your fuse will always be hot, meaning that AC adapter will always be on. And there you go. That's about it. Uh, how to make basically your dash cam always record. So, you know, if anything happens when you're parked or sleeping, a few moments later. You better stay up your line. They do it up for the and for this footage, I just turned off the music so I didn't want to get copyrighted. But here I'm just testing how the footage is, how clear the footage is. This is just on an overcast type of day. And it looks pretty good. I mean, a nice wide angle. I can see this intersection pretty clearly. I can see the lights, color. I can see, you know, the 40 mile per hour speed limit sign. So, so far, so good. License plate LDW. 4746 Honda Odyssey Black. So here I am driving on a rainy day and purposely not using my windshield wipers. I just want to see how the footage is if the windshield is completely covered in rainwater. And now everything is still good. You can make out the street signs like the 641 road and you know approaching the light, you can tell that it's a red light. Of course, approaching this truck, you know, you can make out the license plate, which is, I believe it says YWC0172. I can't tell what the first letter is, but yeah, I could have got a lot closer. And here is just the footage during dusk. So, you know, sunset about, you know, 10 minutes ago, and here's what the footage looks like. I mean, everything is still clear. Make, you can make out the street signs. And of course, you can try to make out this person's license plate and you know the streets, um, the street name up here. And this is at night, sun fully set, black sky, and you know I'm in a you know lit area, so you can you know still see. And now I'm in an area that is not as lit, but you know I can still see the footage. I can still see the street signs, which is good. And yeah, overall, uh, not bad camera. So I hope you all like that footage. I also took my car to the local Dodge dealership and did an oil change and installed the security update. I was able to record some of this footage. Let me know what y'all think about the footage. I showed the footage to my friends and they mentioned that they would be kind of ticked off if the service technician did that. So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think after seeing this footage, but it was pretty funny uh, that I re was able to record this footage. and another practical use for the dash cam to make sure that people working in your car are not abusing it or you know they're actually doing the right work so let me know what y'all think Don't be jealous that you don't have a 6'4". Don't be jealous. Hope you all liked that video. I would urge you guys to get a dash cam. Like any dash cam at all. It doesn't have to be that a mini one. But, you know, it's something that could save our asses and, of course, make for good content. I really like the Garmin Mini Dash Cam because it was a very small form factor. I don't have to look at a screen and, you know, obstruct my uh, view and, of course, distract me. And it's something that I can hide. So, like, you know, I can capture some of these moments that people wouldn't really say if they saw a dash cam. So yeah and i hope y'all like the install video it was pretty easy to install um i think with other dash cams it will be that easy to install because of course we're not dash charger so yeah y'all make sure y'all like comment subscribe let me know if y'all want some more dash cam footage videos i'll try to get some and yeah let me know if you want any more tests with the dash cam footage so yeah that's all i have make sure you like comment subscribe more mods coming soon i appreciate y'all for watching rich homie cal signing out